The NDP emphasis, the more emphasis on uh, the holistic report, report card. Now, what I feel that it uh, should not, it should not focus only on the result, the end result only. So, uh, rather it should capture the journey of the child through the foundation years. And uh, I also feel that it's a, a multi-dimensional assessment tool and uh, it should provide a comprehensive overview uh, of a student's progress and uh, 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 in various domains like cognitive, uh, effective and uh, psychomotor domain. So, to know more about, uh, let's have a panel discussion with our panelists. Uh, uh, so, uh, my uh, first question is for uh, Ms. Suman. Uh, Suman, ma'am. Oh, uh, what, according to you, would be the salient features of a report, holistic report card? Can you please throw some light on this? Assessment at foundational stage, which is starting from three years to eight years. For us, it would be nursery to class two. For this age, the assessment is not to provide only grades and scores to the child. The report card, or we should say holistic progress card, the word given by NEP 2020. HPC in short, we can call it. HPC provides a complete uh, report card or we should say progress card. Report is not the correct word because here teacher's responsibility is not to give the report to the parents. Rather than she should present a progress of the child in all the aspects of the development as you said, rightly said, physical, social, emotional, cultural, aesthetic and language development. These are all the aspects we see in uh, these age groups, right from nursery to class 3. Now if we talk about the salient features of HPC, here the observation of the child is not only by the teacher, in fact, his peer, his, uh, he himself, the child himself assesses his progress and pro uh, assessment given by his parents also. So this progress card will have four different sections. Do we allow or do we think of uh, allowing any child of our class to fill the first page of the progress card? My answer would be no. We never allow a child to write, to scribble, to draw some emojis on the first page of the report card. That is something very confidential record of the school and we always keep it under lock and key. We never allow the children to touch that thing. But here NEP recommends that we should allow the child himself to write the name, his own name on the report card, his likes, dislikes, his knowledge about his family, parents, fear, his favorite things, favorite color, favorite food item. That first page, first section of the report card should have the answers by the child. And in case the child is very young, uh, maybe nursery and PS child, then we can ask the question and the teacher can write the answers for him. But answers should be given by the child himself. So that is the first section, assessment by the child himself. Second section is assessment by peer. We will be asking questions to the classmate of the child. How does the child behave? How does he behave with you? How does he share his things? How does he behave in the group projects? Does he cooperate? Does he help? All these questions we have to frame for the second section of the report card or the progress card where the peer will give answer and the section will be completed by the teacher. Third section is by the teacher where teacher's observation will be recorded as per all the competencies we are taking care of and this observation will not be only term wise like after every four months we have the observation of the child but it should be on daily basis daily work of the child daily drawings worksheets projects field trips home assignments classwork everything will be counted by the class teacher and recorded on a daily basis then fourth section will be filled by the parents parents will give their feedback and they will fill the card with some observations like how does the child enjoy the activities, 
how the child has changed over a period of time. So these four sections make the uh, features, all the features of this HPC. And very well explained, Suman ma'am. Uh, basically, um, uh, self-assessment and uh, peer assessment, but they should be divided into four sections according to Suman ma'am. It should have self-assessment and peer assessment criteria. Um, it was really very nice uh, input by Suman ma'am. Uh, Sneha ma'am, uh, would you like to add to this, give more inputs regarding this? I just uh, remember one example when I, when I used to take nursery classes. As Manna said, self-assessment. I had one child, Akshobhya, at her in my class. It's quite um, high on energy and uh, um, a little average in coloring at that time. So he um, used to scribble, he used to uh, write on notebooks and uh, all his coloring work used to be the scribbling work for many months, till six to seven months. Gradually, he could color it better and became uh, good in coloring. So, after eight months, when I gave him this book, he opened the first page and said, this is not my book. And um, uh, I said, no, Shobha, it's your book. No, no, itna gunna kiya hai. This is not my book. And then I read his name, and then I read his name, I said, see, Akshobhi, your name is written on this, this is your book. So see how that gradual change affected the child himself. That when, uh, now he feels that, oh, I, I color so well, this is not my work. So it was a little funny, but uh, a point to introspect whether this holistic HPC gives the child the self-assessment that the child is thinking upon his own uh, you know, potentials and he is able to tap his own progress. That's the best part of this. Thank confidence you. level. Yes, confidence level. Yes, he is yes, able to judge. So yes. I think this report card will uh, definitely help the teacher, the parents uh, and the child himself. Thank you. Uh, one more uh, question uh, to Suman ma'am. Do you think that the name uh, given as holistic, holistic progress report? Do you think it is, is it the appropriate name or should we give some other name, change some other name uh, for this report? Card? This is quite appropriate holistic progress card, but the other name which comes to my mind could be learner's portfolio because we are going to add all the worksheets, all the artifacts, actually we should say, created by the child over a period of time along with the progress card. So it will be a portfolio kind of thing. Very well said. Uh, my next question uh, is for uh, Rajeshwari ma'am. Uh, how would the holistic report card be different from our present report card? Can you throw some light on this, ma'am? Thank you. Thank you, Rasha. Uh, holistic report card, different from regular report card, yes. Uh, we are shifting from judgment to guidance. Earlier, we used to judge the child by giving grades, A, B, C, and your no more grades. And here, we are uh, sticking on holistic report card, students' growth, and the uh, strength of the child in areas of improvement and it respects the uniqueness of the child here okay? and diversity. The second point I can say is let emphasis on marks. When we could higher classes earlier, they used to give marks and compare the children. Even if we don't compare, children used to compare by themselves. So that is not there. We have qualitative descriptions and skills should be recognized and um, emphasis on the journey of outcome more than result. Earlier we only used to focus on their result, either pass or fail. Here the result is not very important. The journey where we take them to the end of the year, we focus more on those points. Uh, that attitude, how the child learns and everything. And uh, celebrating diverse talents and intelligence, holistic report card recognizes values of all different types of intelligence in the child. 
whereas traditional report card used to consider only academics. The last man, but not the least, I think Suman Verma has already explained everything, empowering the student. When the child learns by himself, there is more value in it. Asking the child to fill the report card, yes, our preschool children cannot fill the report card, but we can pick for them uh, which activity you like the most. Who do you like to do with this, this particular activity, either with their parents or with their friends? Uh, those small little columns, can, we can ask them and we can do the feeling where their involvement is there. Uh, so their sense of responsibility is also connected. That's it. Thank you. Ravishri, ma'am, I would like to ask one more question. Uh, in many of the schools, like uh, uh, my brother's uh, daughter is there in Pune. She goes to a, uh, an army public school. There they have exams. Right? They have exams in uh, junior KG, senior KG, and they give marks. Right? So do you think that is it a sensible thing to do in uh, the pre-primary level? No, that is what we are trying to change to holistic report. But still some schools are following that. No, having exam creates more tension and they very engaged. And even here in, in our learning hampers there. Okay, yeah, but our parents, the, our parents also say there is no exam here in the pre-primary level. When they go to first standard, they have proper formal exam. How they will cope? So we have to guide the parents. We workshop with the parents and teachers are very important. Yes. So I think parents also need a uh, workshop regarding yes. yes. If they no. are involved, it's very regarding. important. And uh, telling the parents those importance of the other activities other than exams is more important. Thank you, uh, Radish uh, That was really nice uh, input from your side. Uh, now, uh, my uh, next question uh, is for Ms. Arshana. Um, are the stakeholders, the teachers as well as the parents, okay, we are talking about the holistic progress report. So, are the uh, parents and the teachers, do you think that uh, they are ready for this uh, holistic report card, holistic progress card 